guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today i am cooking finally a russian dish okay so people been asking me swaggy in for sure jamaica and africa show us russian cuisine all right so today russian dish okay and we're going to cook a very traditional dish and it calls the meat dumplings okay so I'm gonna put my Jamaican husband on duty. He will help me to actually make it. But first part, first thing first, what we have to do, we first have to mix all the ingredients so we can make the flour for my meat dumplings. Russian name feed. Yeah, Russian name. You have no Russian name? Yeah, so people. Okay, people so Russian myself. name is Pilmeni. 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 Yeah, that's the Russian So me always call it pilmeni chicken. I don't know, it's your style. So guys, it's pilmeni. So today we're cooking pilmeni, okay? So basically, pilmeni contains flour and inside the flour we put uh, minced beef and minced pork. We mix it together with onions. Some people put garlic in it with seasoning. So that is basically the idea of the dish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so first thing first, like I told you guys, we need to mix the flour. Mm -hmm. So for the flour, we're going to need just normal white flour. Yeah, normal, normal one. No multigrain, nothing, just white normal flour. And I'm going to use like 500 milliliters of it. Yeah, so next thing I'm going to use, come closer. I'm going to use salt, of course. I'm going to use salt, normal salt, yeah. I'm going to use oil, sunflower oil, use sunflower oil, any oil you want, any oil you like, any oil you're pleased with. Next in milk, just normal milk, any milk you love. One egg, normal egg, medium sized egg, and just normal water. It's pretty easy. So, I have here my fancy bowl, by the way, I received it from one of my subscribers and somebody sent me this set over with all the responsibles so guys you know now may i gotta turn professional cook anyway thanks a lot you guys put me on professional level yeah like it yeah so i'm gonna use it today i'm gonna mix my flour in it so first we need to to throw all the flour in it okay Control the floor, dash it in your pot. Ball, mixing ball. That's how them call it. Then next thing we are going to use uh, about 80 milliliter of uh, the milk. Mm -hmm. Not too much, you know, guys. This, you know, if you cook it first, uh, my advice for you to follow my measurement. Oh, it's brushing. Yeah, so follow my measurement and you now go wrong. So, dash it in one cup. Make sure I have some cup because I like to mix all this stuff in the cup first and not like, you know, throw it straight in my mixing bowl. Yeah, and the same amount of uh, normal room temperature water yeah just gonna mix it together if you don't have milk you know sometimes things happen so if you don't have it just put on the water use like instead of milk put water and you're yeah, gonna throw egg in it too it's not nasty it's just the way i do i don't like real separate stuff but we not have to mix it it's just have to be in a cup you know because it goes uh, Everything goes in one time in our flour, yeah? So next thing, we're going to use uh, salt, a tea spoon, little spoon of salt here. We don't really need too much of it, so teaspoon, straight teaspoon, no more, no less, yeah? Just going to throw it in my flour. Yeah, we do it today with a classy recipe, basic. How, how, how people do it like you know without those prettiness like basic recipe of pilmeni yeah so next thing we're gonna throw all our ingredients from the cup not ball too yeah 
I'm going to start mix it a little bit. Tell my Jamaican brothers and sisters. Yeah, guys, you can this try. This is one it. of my favorite Russian yeah. things, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, man, you can try it. Like the ingredients are pretty easy to find in Jamaica. Yep. And they're not really expensive, but thing is in Jamaica beef, um, grounded beef is not really easy to find. It's kind of easy, but you know, grounded pork is easy to find. And you know, in Jamaica, I, mean, I don't know why, but grounded pork is always look a bit more expensive than beef. In Russia, grounded beef is more expensive than grounded pork. You know, it's not a really big deal, you know, in Russia. I mean, I know, but in Jamaica, it seems like it's different, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to mix it. So now I can just do it with my hands. Try knead the flour. Mm? Knead in the flour. Yeah. We're going to combine all the ingredients together. So like I'm a dumpling, guys. <laughs> you can say so, too. All right, guys, so I'm put the rolls on work. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, we need a rolls of oil. Yeah, show people. Yeah, yeah. Looks good now. Yeah. No need too much flour. Like, you know, guys, follow my instruction. No need too much water. No overdo the water. The dough has to be soft and, you know, we're going to also let it rest for a while. 40 minutes. I'm going to give it 40 minutes. And then I'm going to, you know, Put it back pan work i'm gonna work with it again but 40 minutes guys leave it on the table room temperature okay that's it guys and the next very important thing you have to cover it you know don't leave it open no matter what cover it here yeah? it's time to make our stuffing okay and for it we're gonna need the yellow onion and it's approximately about 150 grams so guys if you don't have a scale it's about uh, uh, two small medium sized onions not really small onions but medium sized onions two of them yeah and uh, i will put two pieces of garlic here gloves and um, we're gonna need minced beef and with the beef, I'm going to mix my pork and mince too. Uh, and uh, uh, we're going to need in total like 400 grams of uh, the minced meat. And I will mix, like I told you guys, I will mix pork and I will mix beef. Yeah. And make sure when you make your stuffing, your your minced uh, meat, make sure you you use uh, sometimes even fat parts because it makes your dish even more tasty. You know. So here pieces I have uh, pork pieces, and I had some fat on it, so I did not cut it off because you know you see this part. I did not cut it off because I want my um, dish to be, you know, like saucy and yeah. So uh, do not cut the fat here. Yeah? Leave it. Yeah, I have my very new instrument. <laughs> well, somebody actually sent me to. <laughs> yeah, it's bigger for the self. So I'm stepping our life here, is it? So I'm gonna grow. You step up in our life. So, I'm just gonna throw the pieces. Like, I'm not gonna really overdo with pork because I'm not a pork lover, more beef lover. But, you know, it has to go to the flavor. The pork means pork has to go in. No, let's put some plants. I'm gonna chop it now. Ground it. Not chop it, ground it. Yeah. Because we need a ground. Substance. Ninja. Yeah, the ninja. Um, whatever, I guess. Ninja blender. Thank, Thank you. Who sent so the ninja? Thank you. Yeah, that's nice. That's really healthy blender. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So first time I'm trying it, so I don't even know how to use it, but oh, okay. Huh? I'm gonna kick. It was so powerful. Yeah, you have to feel it, huh? Amazing. A real ninja. 
you guys already the guy um, onion is already in there so it does like probably look like a place to look a bit to you yeah all right guys so now we're gonna we're gonna make sure 400 grams there so oh no so the ball itself has weight 178 so we need to make it sure it goes up to 578 now my grounds beef here means beef grounds <laughs> i have my minced beef here i'm putting it in there also and like i told you guys i want more minced beef in there than minced pork because you know pork is just i use it for the flavor for the juicy flavor for the juicy taste so whatever left i'm just gonna use it next time so i'll mix it now together all right so half of the teaspoon of salt then add black pepper like i told you already Mm -hmm. you know guys in russia people don't really like to put the whole about seasoning <laughs> i don't know why but you know uh most popular seasoning in russia mm, salt and you know black pepper <laughs> probably that those two yeah and just gonna keep mixing it it looks nice welcome to our working zone so that's where we're gonna you know make our pelmini so on the dinner like table. i told you huh on the dinner table in the living room our working zone yeah so you see um, 40 minutes pass and how the dough looks nice and elastic you know yeah so now what we're gonna do we're not gonna use all i'm gonna use all of it so i'm just uh, for now for now i'm not gonna use all of it so i'm just gonna take a little piece of it and quickly cover the rest what we have because if you're gonna like i told you left it let us spoil it at least so what i have here and i'm gonna just um sprinkle the little flour just to make sure it's not going to stick to our table the glass table so mm. easy mm. to break <laughs> very <laughs> fragile yeah, so i'm going to put some flour on this yeah. and what we're going to do we're going to just you know make dough thin we make it thin doctor we show next what that's what we're gonna do but for now i will pause this wow. and the more you spread the dough the more pigment chicky you get yeah mm -hmm. exactly but i expect like at least 50 out of it maybe more 50 mm -hmm. so much yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna put an arrow on work too. Not like anything, but. You see, arrows, they're gonna make smaller filming chicken, they're gonna make it bigger. So, so first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with the door and uh, cut a little Circle. circles. Yeah, so let me show you how we do it like that uh, and do it pretty close to each other so you not waste mm -hmm. too much flow you know mm -hmm. like this and come do it just like me no 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 close no waste so much flow oh, remember start let's press it on so we can put the rice turn it look a bit so it cut yeah it's enough. You see what you did? You touch it, you can 
Oh, we want mm. to. Yeah, you're not have to do it too much, you know? Because, mm. okay, yeah, mm. that would be bigger than COVID. Yeah. Okay. But, well, let me, let me try with that bigger something. Wait, it's too small. Yeah, yeah, this is going to make some one. Oh, this one perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one too small. So, yeah, we're just going to change the buckles. Yeah. I'm just gonna do it fast. So you see, you know, I feel like spin it, spin it, spin it, because I'm gonna make it smaller. Mm. So you just cut it fast, you know? Mm. Come try. Close to here. Okay. Come yeah, on. So let's let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, there go. Yeah, man, it's perfect. Mm. Come on, that's perfect. So what now we do? You see, now we're gonna just close it with the Plastic. wrap. Yeah, so it's nice. Mm -hmm. Still perfect. So we're gonna do this with our minced yeah. beef. Yeah, this is our minced beef. You take one for yourself too. You wash your hands? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more for you. You can smell that beef. And then you quit, you know. Mm -hmm. Wait, not yet. Okay. It's gonna make it look a bit bigger, cause you know. Yeah. All right. So take the board okay. here and take it here. And don't don't make sure you know. You know, spread in your hand nicely mm -hmm. and roundish. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Look a bit, stretch it, look a bit, because you see fat at the end. No, I need to, you know, <coughs> make it too fat. So, yeah, so now I'm going to take one um, half of the teaspoon and dip it in my meatball. Yeah. So, let me get some. Meat. Wait, 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 not yet. Let me see the proportion, right proportion. So, you see, like this. Show the viewers over there, and it's gonna come. Yeah, like this. So, what I'm gonna do is stretch a little bit to cover it. To cover it. Wait, wait, wait. You're not ready yet. I'm gonna show it. patient. I'm gonna close it first, and then I will help you. See, so you know you can't put too much on meat because if you put too much, yeah, you, can, you can yeah right, you can't close it. So you see when you close it, just make it like a party, you know, like one yeah. thing, thing, thing. Mhm. Mm yeah, and then what you do, you just close it like this. You see, style. and this is. Pilmin. 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 So what we're gonna do now, you know, I'm gonna just now put it. <laughs> That's the, the the chef version. So it's okay. So what I'm gonna do now, I have here cantina. bacon. Is that a canteen? Is that like a bacon? Pan. This called a Maltese pan. And what I'm gonna do, I wrap it with a food uh, wrap uh, because you know, if you now wrap it, it might stick to you know, might stick to the pan. So mm -hmm. if it doesn't stick, you have to dash it with you know, mm -hmm. the bowies, your food bowies. So, and I also to make it double safe to sprinkle like a flour upon it. So, this this way, the more modern know that it never stick to the pan. So just gonna lift it on the table and also will cover it with my full wrap also because I told you guys don't leave the magic out on a boat yeah. they're not gonna nice if they're not on a boat keep them under something every time so it's easy just take a piece mm -hmm. there's a lot of work though <laughs> Yeah, that's the right. <laughs> no, use this one. Make sure you spread the dough in your hands, like you know, like that piece, like you can, you know, 
Și ce fac? Nu, 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 And then make sure you spread your door. Mm, make sure you don't can manage. Mm -hmm. yeah, space and, uh, leave some space there. for closet. Remember, you don't want to be for that shit. Mm. Alright. So you close it now. Go on, go hard, see? Like party. Yeah, you party every day, I have to know that. <laughs> so like a party, see? Yeah. It goes true? Yeah. yeah. Yes, you guys, got a good part. Yeah, so, what we do, look from that, look from me now. So, after you, you see, you have, you have a part look, mm. turn it, turn it like me have it. Also done, yeah. Ah, you know, you know, close it good. See, mm. you can't let no hole, because mm. if you let hole, your meter will come out when you boil oh, it. So well. mm. You better make sure. Yeah, so, what you do, no. Go, mm. put your finger mm. in the middle yeah. and close it like this. Yeah, make those two ends meet yeah, two ends each meet. other. Yeah. <laughs> and middle kiss part. And then close the middle part. Yeah, and just make sure, like, look, 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 look. Just give it a kiss. Okay. Make sure it's cool. And that's yeah, it. Good. You see? Oh, what you feel, man? Give me a kiss. Yeah, man, no bad, though. No bad. You see? But, like. Yeah, you don't need this. See? You left a lot of flour at the end. So. Mm -hmm. If you look up, stretch it with your fingers, but carefully, you know. If you tear the flower, it's no good also. Mm -hmm. So, and it's perfect for your name check. So By so Errol, guys. Oh, so, so many, so many, so many, so many, so many. Yeah, but it's easy. It's like once you start, in, you have yeah, to continue easy. pretty fast. You know, you're just gonna be yeah. in that process. Be in the vibes and, just... and plus, may I have you. So, you can just, you know, go on and be on, you know. Yeah, after can that's how in Russia we do it. Like you have you to make sure one. you have. Uh... You think it was one you want me to come again? Let's go back to see them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know in Russia mm -hmm. what we do? We just make sure we have good um, helper. So help her, you can that? chat, gossip uh, with. <laughs> so you can, you know, that way you're not gonna really see not, that know. time. No, wait, not gonna give to you. You not have to do it yourself. So you can yeah, see both already. Many. Yeah, that's how many. we uh, do it in Russia. And so both of them gossip. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, when I used to look out, we used to teeth the uh, flower door and we used to, you know, eat it raw door. Mm. But some, eat this raw? Right? Yeah, we used to love it. Or just a flower, flower, just normal flower, nothing really. See, so the flower with the beef raw right? stuff? No, I made beef raw, but it's a tea fro. When oh, like granny, this when granny made the, the flour dough, we used to like this, yeah, this raw. We used to heat it raw. So when my granny used to cuss me and say, you have a daily problem, you're not sure. going, you know? Because sure. you can't really eat dough, no. but it's tasty itself too, so mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. It's tasty. That's true, we're just full. We can have bitter stuff and eat raw. Yeah. Yeah, guys, and plus. Uh, you know the reason you know, I'm gonna really make Jamaica oh Jamaica <laughs> Russian dishes in Jamaica because the of course because of some ingredients and the next thing is because Jamaica is very hot so you know so Russian cuisine is pretty heavy you know so quite heavy because when I eat see we cold. eat with mayo and with all the stuff because you know it's cold in Russia so you know, you have to eat heavy food, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but Russians, they have like special dishes. When it's summer, we make something, you know, something light. That's why I'm looking for tea. 
Yeah, we love drink tea. I'm like English. When I go to the supermarket in Jamaica, I always make sure I have my breakfast in black English tea. Remember in Irish, I'm always get tea, I'm always get yeah. soup. Yeah, soup, tea, pilmeni. Um, we have something similar to it, but we call it vareniki. Okay. It's the same. Vareniki, it's, they look like this, but it's stuffed with different stuff. Can be stuffed with the mashed potato, can be stuffed with the, even cottage cheese. Some people love it, we don't really like it, but some people do it. Yama, you're good. Put all your family, you know, bring all of them together, your kids. Mm -hmm. If you have teenager kids who, you know, kind of know how to handle mm -hmm. stuff and your family and go and mix and put me in. Yeah, so you should make a little bit of stuff to put some other things on it here. Yeah. Put a, a key knife. A key? Mm -hmm. That's put what I'm saying. Chicken you can't knife. Put anything. And you said, they must have a roadside right now. Hustle, turn up. Hey, hey, hey. I just. I, uh, just because of the time, you know, it's kind of yeah, time consuming, but you know, get early in the morning. And but if for your business, it can be a business, why yeah. not? That's why you always make them and freeze them sometimes, too. Yeah, like, you can make one like 50 of them, yeah, so and then some, just some freeze it, it. Yeah. for the next time. So you kind of you kind of spend time, but just at the same time, you kind of economy your time. Hey, anybody pick up that house here, yeah? you think it's a good one? You can have a roadside, you may share in your business. Yeah, you can't deal with one side of business with this in the cars. If you tell the truth and look fancy, you know, you can fry too, you know, if you don't like boiled stuff, you can fry them. Anything will look fancy, you can't charge all the money for it. And you see, it's not taking no work all in the beach. Change that up. 300 something, you man. So, what if you buy it? Like yeah, like wholesale, pieces, or some big wholesale pieces, yeah. and, and not mince because you know you can mix uh, your meat, meat pieces with the fat mm. so that way you can make your own bean, be, mince beef mm. and you can economize a lot of money. You make this kind of work, we could have also this, we could have make this, put them on some little tray, so you have five of them. Yeah, I fry them and give it with the hot sauce. Nice, too. <laughs> I don't find this too expensive, but. You don't know that, you know. But then Jamaica them are party, so you know. Yeah, but party why? Party, but this, no, we're not saying no more party. But we just say this could be a side also. Yeah, I can. And everybody can be yeah, party. Man. I make big party. They can smile. Yeah. Put five of them in a little dish. It look like, you know, some money with them. So far, I made like thirty-four um, stuffed um, dumplings. Yeah. And now I'm gonna put them in the freezer. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a deep freeze. And me, I'm gonna continue <laughs> making more because I have flour left, I have beef left. So, yeah, guys, like I told you, I think 50 of them are gonna come out of it, come out of the, all the flour I made and all the minced beef. So, now I'm gonna put it in the freezer. All right, guys, so I brought water to the boil. And it's boiling now. I drop like five or four pimento seeds in there, half of the teaspoon of salt. You can throw one teaspoon of salt how you like it, and also some cinnamon leaves. And I brought it to boil. So now I'm gonna just when it's boiling, 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 I'm gonna throw my dumplings in there. You guys, make sure your water is boiling so that way your dumplings. I will come out just fine and then I'm going to stick to the pot uh, hopefully no when them done and then I'm going to float up to the top float here yeah, same with like the dumpling like dumpling, every Jamaican know that mm -hmm. Jamaicans we know that, we know that swaggy yeah like same Jamaican dumplings <laughs> I just wanted to give you a little tip so if your dumplings, tough dumplings are big like mine just make sure after they float you give them like seven more minutes yeah so that's way they're gonna be ready 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 yeah because it depends on the size of your dumplings if them too small it's all right for them to stay even two minutes after they float but if you have like huge ones like mine yeah you can give them like five seven minutes more 
depends on how you like it but anyway it's almost done i'm gonna pick them up now and give it a taste i'm gonna try it mm -hmm. okay so mine's them just gonna i'm gonna eat it like that without water in it them because remember guys i decided to eat it with the uh, I have olive oil my mayo here and era requested to put bouillon the same bouillon i boiled them same i got put in another plate so just a good dip mm, look a bit tight and add it just like that you can eat any oil you want i just era decided to you know decided to eat it today with the water and i'm not gonna throw too much just a little bit all right that's enough and what else i'm gonna do just to give it a little cool little bit of flavor i'm gonna drop a pinch of butter in there so it's gonna make it even more better creamier okay yeah so for all, I put some bouillon, I put some butter, and I put some black pepper. You put what? I don't need but Yeah, this is a bouillon. I call it bouillon. So, gonna give it a try. I put some we call mustard in mine because I like to eat it with mustard also. That's how we eat it in Russia. Everyone doesn't like how we eat it. Mmm. And the inside looks like that. Is it a bite? Mmm. It has a buzz. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Okay. I'm going to get a more. Can I get a One more? Yes. I always eat fast, guys. You don't know what I'm Errol, but it's slow. Errol, you would never survive in a big family, you know? We're not gonna be fast. We eat fast. We eat fast. It means so you get the same amount of food at the same mm. time. So you don't in flying class. But this is so good. Yeah, I'm stuck, guys. I'm not going to try it. What are you doing? That's the best. Hey, it's a boss. That's the best dumplings I ever made in my life. Yeah? That's the best thing I made in my life. Mm. Okay. It's just right. Can you see it? The seasoning inside, the meat inside is good. wood. The you know what? The, the, the dough I made dough perfect so because it is so good. From inside I know it. Mm, sweet. Then I can also see that. Outside I'm spooky. You want me to step a style on? See what's going on? You can go by there. My mix. I mean, today I'm spent oh and something just to make like 40 of them. You want to save me? <laughs> <laughs> no. This is a luxury. I'm not really make it every time, even for for the family. Two. I not really make it a regular cup. It's kind of complicated to do. Take time. Yeah. We need to find an Amazon something like you know forms to make it faster. But guys, you know when you make it fast, it doesn't come out that perfect. Cause when you do everything with your hands, mm, just just much more better. Mm, I love it. I love the meat inside. Mm. Mm. That's when I want to go to Russia. Right. No. When I want to go to Russia, I will um, make a Russian dish. I feel like I do. And I feel like, alright, I don't want to go to Russia anymore. <laughs> I can keep going. There's a lot of comfort food. And I, I think everybody do it. Who live a foreign, you know? Mm. Who doesn't live at home? Because in Russia, you can basically just buy them frozen in the pot from the supermarket and just throw them in the bubbling hot water and that's it. <laughs> By the way, guys, update. 
thanks God, my mom is perfectly okay. So she went to the doctor, she made a checkup, and the doctor told her that she was just having an allergy. So she made another test to find out what kind of allergy she was struggling with. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated on now what's going on with my mom. Yeah, but it's thanks God it wasn't coronavirus. Thanks God. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So my mom's saying she's having allergy on cold. I mean it's minus thirty in Russia and she said when um she came out she saw water running out of her nose, you know? So she connected that to that she lost her smell, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just need to hurry up and bring my mom to the island, but I already told you guys the situation is not really easy because she has old grandparents to take care of but as soon as possible I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys like subscribe and share and I really appreciate you being on my channel watching my videos. Yeah see you next time I'm gonna think about what else I can introduce to you what else you guys might like? Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>